Chicago Bulls fans, it's Cognac Boy Bobby. We got some great news on your Chicago Bulls. NBA just released the summer league schedule. That means it's about to get cracking. We're going to have to talk about it. Let's get it. Cognac. Gang. Shy Bulls Podcast. With the Cognac Boys, I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down for my dog, C-Dub. You feel me? Hey, so Chicago Bulls, they just got some great news, and our fans just got some great news. According to KC Johnson, the NBA just released its summer league schedule. The Bulls, they're going to have six games. Five games, correction. They're going to have five games, uh... For the NBA Summer League, um, starting July 8th will be the first game. Uh, you're going to go against the Mavs, and then two days later, the Knicks, and then we got the Raptors, then the Hornets. Now, they say they are guaranteed one more game. That's to be determined at a later time. But I'm going to tell you something. Last year, we got to see the likes of Ayo Dosumo. Last year, we got to see the likes of Marco, Marco Samanovic. Last year, we got a little more out of Pat Williams just to see how these guys – you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and play against, you know, continue their development. Um, two out of three came out, and they're now, now uh, key contributors to this team. Now it's still to be determined what's going to go on with Marco Simonovic. You feel me? We don't know. Um, we know in the G League he has some pretty decent numbers. I believe he put up about 19 and 10 or something like that. But that's the G League. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get them ready so you can come on up to the big boys. And then, you know what I'm saying? We already know what happened with Ayo Dosomu. My boy came in, you know what I'm saying? The Nigerian nightmare came in and held his own. You know what I'm saying? Being an intricate part of the Chicago Bulls team, holding it down while Lonzo Ball was out and making a name for itself on the offensive end and the defensive end with a lot of room to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got to hope that he continued on that good trajectory. You know what I'm saying? Then Pat Williams. He missed majority of the season after, you know, that wrist injury. But he came back, had struggled a little bit, but definitely ended off well in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Had, and then definitely that solid game at the end of the season against the Minnesota Timberwolves when he had the ball in his hands for majority of the game. That was pretty damn solid by your boy, Pat Williams. You know what I'm saying? So two out of the three, they 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 developed well through summer league and then player development from the coaching staff. So kudos to them. What well, is to be seen. You know what I'm saying? I want to see uh, how Marco does. Uh, I will anticipate that he will be playing in Summer League again this year just so the Bulls can give him more exposure to it, the NBA. Um, I would expect that the Bulls will take a draft pick at 18. I don't think they would trade out of that. I think they will attack some things going into free agency, and then you have to see what fucking happens. That's just period. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can find some gems or somebody in there uh, maybe another more, maybe some more wing depth because at today's NBA scene, man, the great teams they got good wing defenders, good wing players, offensively defensive. The Golden State Warriors they got some great wing players over there. Clay Thompson, then you got Andrew Wiggins, and then you got Draymond bringing another good solid point forward slash wing who can go ahead and help. They the NBA champions, they did it, but the opposing team that lost, they got wing good wing players too. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. You know what I'm saying? So you need those wing defenders and those wing players so you can go ahead and build you a championship team. Now that's all to be determined. But if we dive into the game against the Mavs, the Bulls, the Knicks, the Raptors, the Hornets, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not too much to dig into. It's just summer league. But I want to see – I want to see Marco, man. I want to see Marco. I think he has something. I think he has a little something, but there is a reason why his ass was at the G League for majority of the se well all season. They called him up, but he ain't getting no tick. So there's a reason why he didn't get no tick. But the good thing is, is that he was around the team. So let's see if he can take another step. Go ahead and ball out, and then see what it do. And then let's see what this draft pick gonna look like in a couple of days. And then we gonna see what's happening, man. You know what I'm saying? But again. NBA released the summer league schedule for the Chicago Bulls. We got some games on the docket. Y'all know we're going to be watching. And it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 
comment below on, on, on what y'all want to see from the summer league and let us know. Let us know. Do y'all think Marco Simonovic is going to have a good song and eventually make it to the team to be, you know what I'm saying, on the active roster and not on a two-way contract? Or do you feel like, eh, we don't need to worry about him. He washed up. He good. Don't even worry about it. It ain't going to happen. Just let us know. Hey, but if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and then thanks for rocking with the game. If you've been rocking with the game, thanks for rocking with the game. Thank you for your continued supporters. You know, I'll continue to support us. And then, hey, rock y'all June team shirts today, man. We out. Cognac. Cognac. Gang.